Hey everybody, Hatcher here with gaming news, reviews, and tips. And today we're reviewing the Oculus Rift S. So the Oculus Rift in VR is something that I was really interested in trying for the last couple of years. It all started with Elite Dangerous. Never made the dive in though because I read some reviews and it didn't sound like it was the right time. Well this year I was playing DCS World and one thing led to another. I went from playing DCS World, getting a, a few of the peripherals like a, a throttle and a joystick. And then I said, hey, I bet you this game would be great in VR. And sure enough, it was. But not only is that game great in VR, there are a lot of other titles that are really, really popular right now in VR. And I wanted to share with you some of my experiences. So first and foremost, right out of the box, I got to tell you, well, right out of the store, I was walking home and, and I felt like I had made a good purchase. So the box is heavy. You get, I bought it at the Microsoft store. I got my Microsoft store bag. I haven't been that happy after about a $600 purchase in quite some time. But took that home, opened the box. Again, you know, the packaging is all high quality. You feel like you're getting something expensive. You open up the box and everything's fairly simple. There's only three things inside the box. You've got your two controllers and then you've got your Oculus Rift S headset. And then of course you have your cable that goes from the Rift S through to your graphics card, your GPU, uh, as well as a USB port on your PC. Really easy to set up and install. Oculus has their own software. Everything runs pretty smooth, uh, smoothly there. Uh, but I do have to tell you, I had a lot of fun with in VR and with the Oculus Rift S. And so it's definitely something that I would recommend. I would say go ahead and give it a try yourself. Um, but I would recommend that you have a game in mind that you wanna play. There are a lot of titles out for VR and I would say about 99% of them, even the ones with good reviews, are not very good. So make sure that you have a game in mind that you really want to try out in VR, and I think you'll be happy. A few of the ones that I think um, are quite good, and uh, hopefully I'll be doing a review on some of those games in the near future. But a few of the games that I think are really, really well done in VR, some of them aren't made for VR natively, but they've been ported to VR. DCS World is actually quite cool to play in VR. It's very immersive. Uh, Cars, th Project Cars 3 is actually really good and, and it has a port or it might even be made for VR but very well done in VR and Elite Dangerous I think are three safe titles so if you're into space uh, sims and space combat Elite Dangerous if you're into flight sims or want to try out a flight sim and be able to sit in the cockpit of an F-14 or an F-16 or an F-18 try some DCS World um, and then, uh, you know, if you're into racing, then uh, Project Cars 3 is a good title there. Um, there are a few shooter games out there. The ones I've played have not been great, uh, but there are a few shooter games out there. Probably the, uh, the next uh, best game that I've played in VR is Half-Life Alex. So again, this isn't a multiplayer game or anything like that. It's more of a first-person shooter. Uh, you against the computer, really good storyline, really good graphics, but again, I'll save that for the Half-Life Alex review. But have a game in mind that you want to play in VR, that way you'll get the best experience out of it. I've spent a lot of hours looking through the library and through the Oculus Store and through the Steam Store and really haven't found a lot of games that grab my interest. A lot of them are a little bit cheesy, tongue-in-cheek, uh, but if you can find a game that you think that you would like, I highly, highly, highly recommend the Oculus Rift for VR and playing in VR. I haven't had this much fun gaming in a long time. It brought a big, big, big smile to my face, easily worth the $600 Canadian that I played for the Rift S. Anyway, I hope this review has helped you out. Um, again, my main recommendation, get a game that you wanna play or find a game that you wanna play in VR that you think you'll like and you will thoroughly enjoy your VR experience. If you found this uh, review helpful, please give me a like, subscribe, or leave me a comment, and we'll see you in game.